Hey guys, in one of my previous videos, I showed my pair of Knifeworks exclusive uh, Spyderco Manix 2XLs with the S90V blades. And in the unboxing of the replacements I was sent because the first set was built so shittily, um, the edges were pretty damaged. Uh, one of them had a couple of bird damage sections near the tip of the knife, and the other knife uh, had sustained quite a bit of damage in the very central portion of the blade, um, and that damage section was about seven-eighths of an inch long. Um, it looked like the blade had come into contact with either a big chunk of steel or possibly another knife blade because it had left a pretty good flat spot, and where it sort of uh, deformed the metal, it left quite a bit of microchipping in that area. So when, upon examining it under microscope, um, ooh, I can talk under a microscope. Um, it was pretty bad, so of course I went to sharpen it out, and this is after the second sharpening. So this is going to be at forty-five times magnification. If I can find out where the freaking microscope is. There we go. Alright. So right there is where I brought the edge back to the Ricasso. Uh, because apparently Spider Code did not feel the need to do that. As you can see the edge looks pretty good. Um, the factory grind lines are still there because they're so uh, deep and coarse. And this side of the blade actually looks pretty good. The tip is still quite acute after two sharpenings. The other side of the blade is where we got the problems. And bear in mind this is after two sharpenings. So they were substantially worse um, before I tried to sharpen them out. Alright, so there's a little chip right there. In the middle of your screen, you can see some microchipping. Again, to. Oh, it just bit into the microscope. You see two more microchips right there in the middle of your screen. And here is the area of damage. It may not look like much, but uh, Something had to hit this thing pretty hard to damage the steel that badly to where after two sharpenings there's still chips in the blade. Small chips, and they're only on one side. This is the other side of the blade in that exact area. And it it looks good. But The rest of the blade is is all right. May have a little bit of damage there near the tip. Let me see if that wipes off. Oh, damn it! Just stabbed my microscope. Yeah, that wiped off. But uh, the others, they are actual chips. Kind of frustrating. Um, so now I'm going to do a cut test on some rope, and afterwards I'm going to reprofile the whole edge with diamond stones to try to remove these chips because they are bugging me. Um, to sharpen this, I used a progression of silicon carbide sandpaper, and while it, it did do the job and abrade the steel, um, it did take its toll on the sandpaper, which I haven't seen before in such a short duration. But it is sharp, it is hair whittling, it is capable of 90 degree push cuts into foam paper 
width and cross grain. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon.